Got a bit of a problem. Some asshole got wind of what we were up to. Apparently killing a guy's closest associate puts a bit of a spotlight on him. <laughs> now that the toy door has been removed for use in heist, I thought I'd update my previous guides on how to complete the elite challenges for various heists that use them. In this video, I'll be showing you how to complete the elite challenge for everyone's favorite heist to do with randoms, the prison break. There are a number of ways to complete this, but I'll show you the most consistent method with as little prep as possible. As I'm recording this, I am getting a bit of a cold. If I sound even sexier than usual, that's why. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let's go! Unlike other apartment heist finales, this is the only one where you cannot equip your own outfits. So wearing a heavy utility vest for extra armor is out of the question. Make sure you are fully stocked up on armor and snacks, although as you'll see, you're unlikely to need many. The starting apartment does not matter in this case, as the timer for the Elite Challenge only starts when you hit the Rashkovsky cutscene later, but North Conquer Ave is the closest. Cool, I'll get set up. First, we'll look at the prison officer role. When selecting your vehicle, go with the Vigilante. Both prison officer and prisoner hop in the Vigilante and make their way over to the prison bus. Then when inside the bus, take this route to the prison. You got the bus? All right. Take it to Bowling Broke and avoid attention. As soon as you are outside, request your personal vehicle and look to the right here. This will prevent your vehicle from spawning inside the prison here where you will not be able to reach it. It usually spawns just behind you or sometimes to the left inside the prison. Now make your way inside. I thought the drug laws were keeping us full. Come on. Okay, get to it. As long as they think you're an inmate and a guard, they shouldn't raise the alarm. I said shouldn't. As soon as you can, take out the prison guards. You can drop a weapon here for the prisoner, but this isn't necessary. Now head out to collect your vigilante, knocking down these fences on the right. An up an atomizer works, or you can use explosives. Now get in your vigilante and reverse at an angle over these barriers to get inside the prison. Now head over to the prison until you reach this area with the circular structures. Make your way over to these stairs and park your vigilante close by. From here, wait for your demolition team to get into position to help take out the attacking officers. This will reduce the damage you take. Once everyone is dead, pop back in your vigilante and wait for the prisoner to trigger the cutscene. This is when the elite challenge timer starts. 
I thought they were sending professionals. I collaborate and nearly get a ship for the pleasure. Just give me... Uh, nice. There are some screws I hope we run into. Let's go! As you parked far enough away from Raskovsky, you'll still be inside your vigilante. If you park too close, your character will spawn outside of it. As soon as the cutscene ends, you can start locking onto the noose NPCs and blowing them all up. Check is in your hands, Transporter. You'll also have help from the demolition team in their buzzard, so you can start heading around the corner for the next set of enemies spawning. Will be one more wave of new spawning towards the front. With everyone dead, head back this way and then out through the front gate. Arrives, hop into the left side of the plane. Local PD are all over this. Communicate. Choose somewhere with enough space to land and pull them out. As far as the elite tank goes, your job is done. For the prisoner role, you should choose a speedy bike that can carry two people. In this playthrough, the Hakuchu Drag was chosen, but something like the Bati, Akuma, or Shinobi are good alternatives. The prisoner hops into the prison guard's vigilante and makes their way to the bus. Here we go. Okay. You're coming up on bowling, Just like the prison guard, call your vehicle in when you're outside the prison. As long as they think you're an inmate and a guard, they shouldn't raise the alarm. I said shouldn't. With the prison guards dead, you can run over them and pick up their weapons. As you'll only start with a pistol. Hop on your bike outside the prison and get inside over the barriers. Because you're on a bike, you can get through the courtyard through this gap. Now park your bike right outside where Reshkovsky is waiting. Head up the stairs and wait for the demolition buzzard to take care of most of the enemies. Now run over to Rashkovsky where the Elite Challenge timer will start. Let's go! As prisoner, you'll only have one or two enemies to take care of. Make sure to stay relatively close to Raskowski in order to keep him moving and into position. There's a small gap between the two buildings to your west. That's your exit out of the northern yard. We are going to incentivize this. We need Raskowski out of the country quickly and in good health. The better you do those things, the better you're paid. Okay, clear and move. As 
soon as the last noose in the prison have been eliminated, Raskowski will hopefully hop on your bike for a quicker getaway. If not, you may need to follow him around for a bit until he does. Now head out the front of the prison. Raskowski will always get into the right side of the vellum, so make sure to hop off your bike near this side while you jump into the left side. Your part in the Elite Challenge is complete. For demolition, it doesn't really matter what vehicle you take. Here we go. Okay, you're splitting into two teams. Transporter, officer, you're the ground team. To start with, you'll collect our bus from the junkyard at Sandy Shores. Demolitions, you're the perimeter team. You'll be hijacking the inbound bowling broke transport. The pilot's going to LSIA. And me? I'm gonna put up some smoke in a nice crowd at public. Track down the bus and eliminate the driver. Pistol and a special combine, so there's no fighting over who's the favorite. Demolitions has got a jerry can and some sticky bombs too. Let's get to work. Once the bus is secure, Demolitions is driving it to Sandy Shores. The pilot's going to LSIA. Now take this route to Sandy Shores Airfield. Once you arrive, get out and blow up the bus. Demolitions, we need you airborne, running the fence. Then hop in your weighted mesa and head over to the buzzards. Take care of the two guards. What's your problem? And make your way over to the south side of the prison. From here, you want to be outside of the road around the prison, but close enough and high enough for your homing missiles to reach the courtyard. Getting too close, we'll see your buzzer destroyed by the prison's homing missiles. As soon as the cutscene starts, noose enemies will spawn in, giving you a head start in clearing them out. You now want to keep moving round to the left, firing one missile at a time until all noose are destroyed.
Now blow up the cops outside the prison. focus on the helicopters chasing the Vellum. Alright, this is the end game people, let's keep it together, bring this over the line smooth. The sooner the Vellum escapes the choppers, the sooner they will be able to lose the cops. This is vital for completing the elite challenge in the required time. Demolitions keep with them. When the rest of the crew bails, you'll be picking them up. You need to evade the authorities before you bail out of there. Run evasive maneuvers, get clear, then head toward the drop zone. This all goes to plan, you rendezvous on the beach in the Palomino now just follow the Vellum to the final drop off, taking down choppers if you need to. Possibly the most boring role is the pilot, but their role is just as vital as the others. You'll spend most of your time flying over the radio tower at this part on the map, until your timer reaches about a minute to 30 seconds. The reason you want to do this is because as soon as you reach the Sandy Shores area, jets will be coming to shoot missiles at you. We got a problem. Air traffic's red flag the plane and they're scrambling jets. Pilot, if they try to shoot you down, run evasive maneuvers. These are easy to avoid as you just slip behind them and follow them around. Make sure that you still stay close to the prison though, as you'll be needed shortly. As soon as you see the rest of your team leaving the prison, land in this long patch of flat land right outside. At this point, any jets will kamikaze. Everyone in, fly off to the final drop off, avoiding choppers along the way. If by the time you reach the big yellow circle in the sky and you've still not lost your wanted level, just circle it until you do. The Elite Challenge timer ends as soon as you see the cutscene.
I should say, I've been impressed by your professionalism. Now, I'm not gonna go into it, but Rashkovsky's part of something bigger. Way bigger. I need to make a few more inquiries, and we'll be ready to go on a job that requires your particular skill set. Don't retire on me just yet. Now, just as long as nobody dies, and you all safely get into the buzzard, fly back to Los Santos, you've completed the Prison Break Elite Challenge with plenty of time to spare. So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beats Down and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, no way! Oh my god!